This is Doombox, and welcome back to Bay 6. So this episode is actually going to be a little different than usual. <laughs> Just kidding, there's no such thing as usual because I, like, never make them. Anyways, it's going to be different than usual in that we're going to be covering something that's actually outside of the game itself. So this past week, ArenaNet unveiled a brand new set of official forums, which kind of came out of nowhere. It was a big surprise to everybody. And it's actually really good news because the old official forums were notorious for being glitchy and for breeding a disproportionately high number of posts that, well, made me question my own sanity, for lack of a better way to say it. And if you're not sure what I mean when I say that, just, just stay tuned. So first, we're going to quickly go over what the new forums have to offer, and then after that, we're going to take a look back at some of the juiciest garbage that was produced from the old forums as sort of a permanent memorial so we can always look back at where we came from long after the archives have been deleted. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the old forums, they're going bye-bye after the end of October, so if there's anything that you want to save from there, take care of that while you still can. So it is kind of weird that Arena decided out of nowhere, hey, let's make some new forums. Uh, but, it, you know, let's see. Let's see what they have to offer. They've got So Technology, which lets you log in using the latest in secure system. Now, that's actually a pretty appealing feature to me because the other day somebody hacked into my forum account and stole a stack of Eternities off my account. So I won't have to worry about that happening again. It's got mobile support. That's... Can't complain about that. It's it's current year, and everyone does things on mobile now, so it's good that they're finally getting with the times. They also added a bunch of other fluff, like avatars, reactions, ranks, and badges and stuff. But most importantly, the forums now has a search engine that actually functions correctly. It's not like the old one where you would type in elementalist builds, and it would give you, like, some Chinese website on the dark web that would give you a virus that had nothing to do with what you typed in. So that's actually really good. Now, don't get me wrong, there have been plenty of excellent high quality posts on the old official forums. It just seems like there was always an unusually high number of posts that, well, I guess the best way is just for me to show you what I'm talking about. Jumping mechanics stink. After hours of hair pulling frustration, I finished the jumping puzzle not so secret. I went there to get the diving goggles achievement, but that's pretty much impossible, so I've decided not to waste any more of my time on this broken crap. Here's the problem. Jumping is unreliable. Dude, I hate to break it to you, man, but I don't think jumping is the problem. I think maybe it might have something to do with your individual skill level. My account get stoled. What? Level 80 knight getting two shot by a spider? Knight, what is that, a new class? And two shot, that's really not that bad. I mean, it could be one shot. Fix Cormier's hair plus nose job? What, really, of all the things that we could be complaining about with this game, we're gonna complain about Cormier getting a nose job? Guild Wars 2 on Xbox One? I'm pretty sure, didn't they try to do that like way back in the day? I see this thread posted like once a week. It's kind of a goofy idea. I really don't think it's ever gonna happen, guys. So maybe it's time to stop asking. Ugly launcher. Come on, let us choose our own launcher images. The new purple Raptor Rider graphic is awful. It looks like it has the color palette of about eight colors maximum. I mean, it's like you see the launcher for like three seconds before you log in. Can't take it anymore. Give me Path of Fire now. Can't wait, really, I can't. My want it, my pro, okay. Proposal, gem store item to remove time gating. Yeah, I'm sure that wouldn't be controversial at all. Dear sweet Ana in the sky. Well, I mean, that's one way to title a post. How do you get to Elonia? <laughs> The face on the dude in the launch screen. Oh, here we go again about the launch screen. Really, who cares? You see it for like two seconds. Looks terrible. Everything besides his face is perfect. It just gnaw gnaws on me every time I log in. And Dry Top is a stupid obstacle course that should be turned into something. When, when did Dry Top enter the mix? What the heck? What is this post? 
even have to do with anything. The rest of the jumping puzzles, from what I hear, are fun. Like, he he's all over the map. He's complaining about the launcher, and then he just jumps right into dry top about, you know, just like, out of nowhere. <laughs> Chalik of... T Chalik of tears. Chalik of tears. Unacceptable. This is not okay to use in the new legendary trinket connection. You cannot require people to do something that is intentionally designed to be painful and the hardest thing in the game. Yeah, I mean, if only there was some class in this game that had some sort of, like, teleporting device, maybe like a portal or something to help people through this, I think that might be asking too much. They're probably going to put the game on Xbox before they add something like that. You consider this an unappropriate name? Hello, guys. I just want your opinion about this name. High Stoned or High Stoner it could be. A... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want you making names with drugs in it, but I guess it's good that he asked. What's the level after 80? <laughs> Who's yelling Justice, Courage, Resolve? I've only started noticing this voice effect in PvE Zergs fairly recently, and I've been playing regularly for two plus years. Sounds a lot like a mantra being prepared, but with words used for guardian virtues, which is peculiar. Pe per peculiar. Has it always been there? And am I insane in this case? Or is this some POF stuff seeping through via bugs or hacks? <laughs> um, for those who don't understand why this is funny, um, this is just a regular Mesmer mantra that's been in the game since launch. Guild Wars 3. After over four years and thousands of gameplay hours, I've grown bored of Guild Wars 2. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. Thoughts on Scrooge ground targeting and more. What is this, the Christmas Carol? Okay, I, I get that it's just a typo. Only two things for Scrooge. It's not a typo, he did it twice! What the s- Scrooge ground targeting. It's where he just throws a bunch of, like, golden coins on the ground. Scrooge McDuck ground targeting. Balthazar is a Tengu? I couldn't help but notice the feathers on the last screenshot after killing Lazarus. Is that supposed to be Balthazar? Are you trying to portray one of the five gods as a fire chicken? Please add hairless char as an option in the makeover kit. Please no. Please don't. It's bad enough that we have char in the game at all. No flying mounts? There's nothing to do. I log on and what does that do? Nothing. Which is why I log out and watch hour-long videos about why Guild Wars 2 is boring. Can we have something to do other than just combat? Oh my gosh. Not only is this funny, but the, the funniest part is that he goes and watches hour-long videos about why Guild Wars 2 is boring. Like, if you really, like, hate the game this much, like, just stop playing. Like, why would you, like, relish in the fact that there's nothing to do by wasting even more time watching video? I don't know. It's just funny to me that this stuff even exists. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Um, something a little different, I guess, but seeing that the forums are going away, um, I felt it would be good to kind of archive what it was like on the forums in case things change. We'll have a way to look back at uh, the way things were. So the most fascinating thing to me about this whole thing is what causes the forums to breed posts like that? Like, it's kind of a universally accepted thing amongst the community that the forums are just a low quality, horrible place to go. I've heard words like dumpster fire and pond scum used to describe the types of posts on the forums. And I know there's the occasional garbage post on Reddit too, and I'm sure the mods over there have seen plenty more, but it just feels like Reddit and other discussion websites don't even come close to the level of pure pond scum that you can find on the official forums. Also, like, what type of demographics are these people writing these posts? Are they, are they young kids or, like, old people? I really don't know. Like, what common factor is compelling people to take time out of their day to post stuff like that? Maybe some of them are just really good trolls, who knows. And guess what? Path of Fire is a little over. A week away, guys. Oh, boy. Anyways, this is Doombox, signing.